Hello. Good morning. Um, first, I'm, first and foremost, I'd like to thank God for blessing us all sin of the day that wasn't promised to us. I want to thank um, God for His grace and His mercy that kept us alive this morning. I just... <laughs> The last three days I've been at church last Friday, Saturday, and Sunday been so blessed. I'm going to tell you right now that God is restoring relationships. He's restoring marriages. He's restoring families. I'm telling you, when I prayed, I let my prayer request be known to God. I cried in spirit, and I spoke to God in spirit. And God said he would give us what our heart desires. And I asked probably for five things that I want God to change in my life. And I started speaking it like never before. And I tell you, everything I spoke about came to pass. Because when you speak and let your request be known to God, God hear your prayers. Because I cried like never before. I cried before, but this time I cried and God answered my prayers just right away. And, you know, I said three people prophesied over my life and told me some things. I'm not going to say what it's about right now until it happens, until my book closed. Well, it's already closed. But I'm telling you all to stay strong, stay encouraged, and remember, go ahead and hear all our prayers. And I want to tell you all, you sick. You depressed, you stressed, you start letting the devil walk over you. Because the devil see you like he wanna see you. Down and out, giving up on yourself, saying you're not gonna be nothing, Christmas coming. It's not all about Christmas. It's about Christ. It's about Jesus. We gotta start teaching our kids, let them know Jesus is the reason for the season. It's not about gifts, because every year your kids don't have that gift under their tree. Or see no gifts, they get mad. Start training your kids on Santa Claus. Santa Claus is not real. Okay? Christmas gifts. It's not all about Christmas gifts. It's about Christ. But get to know who Jesus is. Who Jesus was to us. Dying on the cross for all our sins. That's our gift. I'm not even much into this tradition stuff. This man-made stuff anymore. As I started to learn and get closer to God. You know? I was young. I believed it because what my parents taught me. But when I get older, it's not all about that. You know, right now, I just pray that's God will let this will be done in my life. You know, and, I, and I'm a strong woman. I have faith in God, you know, but I'm to a point that I'm not taking no mess from nobody. You know, my parents told me in church, everybody's not going to be in your life. People going to get mad at you. They're going to talk about you. But guess what? In the day, God ain't going to never leave us or forsake us. So I stand on my pastor's words when he tell me in church every Sunday. Because I thank God because of my pastor. I prayed in June of 2014 and asked God to send me to a, a church I can grow at. Be spiritual fed at. To use me at. And guess what? God answered my prayers. So you got to keep you gotta keep praying. You know, God hear our prayers. But don't keep asking for the same old thing over and over again. Because he heard us the first time. But all I'm saying is that you let the devil know you are God's child. You are fearfully and wonderful made. You are you are more than a conqueror. You are victor. You walking into your victory. You gotta start speaking it and let the devil know who you are. So you get up today and start telling the devil you taking back everything. But you gotta mean what you say. When you when you open your mouth, the devil gonna run. You sitting there saying I'm taking back. No, you gonna say I'm taking back. Everything the devil thought he sold for me, my house, my joy, my health, my children, my grandkids, my relationship, my husband, my wife. You got to start speaking like that and mean it because you don't. The devil ain't going to believe you. Like, oh, she just playing. She always tell me this. You got to speak it. Speak it. And watch how God work. Watch how God work on your behalf. Don't stress behind no Christmas gifts. Don't worry yourself. You don't have the money. You don't have it. And kids got to understand that. It's not all about gifts. It's all about Jesus. So I ask you all to stay encouraged. Stay strong. Keep fighting the fight. You keep fighting. Don't give up. You pray. Because things are about to get out of hand.
real soon. And I see so much earthquakes going on. Read Matthew 24. It speaks about what's going to happen when God returns. But the question is, are you ready? So I'll be, be back on here later today. May God bless you all. And I thank you for my new people who watch me. Uh, I thank you for my old people. I thank you for my, all my sisters and brothers of Christ. I love you all. Forgive me if I said some things that may have said you, but I don't sugarcoat nothing. You know, I let God have his way with me when I speak. So, if you get convicted and you, you get mad at me, know that it's called God conviction. God will convict you because you're wrong. You're not living right. So, may God bless you, and I love you all, and i see you back probably later today. You know, remember, I'm only be, I only get led to make videos, you know. Sometimes I may not make them because I've been led to make them. But be blessed. I love you all. And God loves you too.